post-grunge outfit Nickelback came together in Alberta, Canada in 1996, consisting of Chad Kroger, his brothers Mike and Brandon, and lead guitarist Ryan Peake. Nickelback recorded three albums in the late 90s before signing a deal with EMI. Their 2001 album, Silver Side Up, produced the number one smash, How You Remind Me, which went on to become the Billboard Hot 100 single of the year and propelled Nickelback into the mainstream. A year later, Chad co-wrote and sang the song Hero for the Spider-Man soundtrack. The band followed up with the release of their fourth album, The Long Road, in 2003. But it wasn't until two years later that Nickelback really went nuclear. First came an injection of new energy with Daniel Adair taking over on drums. Although joining the band almost a decade after they formed was a daunting prospect. It's a little intimidating com coming into something so... They've no, been together for so long. No, it wasn't. It was at first, a little bit. I didn't act like it, of course. I was in control of the whole situation. But uh, yeah, it was very easy. We're all hosers from Canada. We're all, yeah, exactly. We're all hosers. We all get along. I don't know. That's do you know true. that terminology? Yeah. You don't know hoser? Hosers. We like hockey. We hosers. like Canadian. Uh, like rednecks. With Daniel in the lineup, the band released their fifth album, All the Right Reasons, which spawned five US Hot 100 singles including the top 10 hits Photograph, Far Away and Rockstar. The incredible success of the album justified the band's decision to take their time in the studio, despite feeling the pressure from their record company. You can't let the business side put you under a time crunch, you know? Creativity doesn't work that way. Some of the greatest albums took, what, two years to write? Yeah, R of the rumors ones. Fleetwood Mac took a year to record. Um, and we're sitting in, in the studio after about three months going, a year? <laughs> Who could sit in the studio for a year and record an album? You know, and at the seven month mark, we're just ready to mm. you know, go nutty. So uh, that was too long. That was too long to, to sit in a studio and, and record. For Ryan, it all became worthwhile when they hit the stage. You no, know, coming out every night and seeing a, a venue that sold out and they had to keep opening up sections for more and more people to come in. I mean, there's no more satisfying feeling than that.